Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dawn Gariano, a certified Zen Tango teacher. Today is day 26 of Inktober 2023. Today's tango is Melia Crown by Susan Yeo CCT. So this is really cute tango. Um, let's get going. So it starts with kind of like, um, like a harp like shape. So I think she shows two different ways you can do two little upside down U shape and connect them. Or you can just do, if you feel comfortable, you can just do this with one stroke like this. Oops, I think my pen is actually much thicker than I thought. This is all eight. I meant to, I've, I've been using all one, but um, I guess I grabbed eight. Okay, let's get. I'm just going to continue with this. So then you're going to put a little cap and you're going to have this little kind of, kind of hand or curl or cactus like shape. And then I'm going to add a line here that goes behind and you ink in and you're going to or here and you add texture lines here. I'm gonna switch back to my O1. I think I wanna do my texture uh, with thinner lines. Um, so you can start from the middle or you can start from the side. I don't think it really matters, but I'm gonna add a little, little sparkle, meaning just a little space between the lines where the light is coming here so that's the basic step out of media crown i think so this is really adorable i'm gonna i'm gonna continue with all eight i think i like that so you can add a few more maybe i'll do another one here really close to this so maybe and here like this, and maybe one more, perhaps here, here, maybe. One here, like this. And add this one little shape. So I'm going back and forth with two easier to just remember where I am. I skip one step. So this is another one of those botanical looking tangle. I think it will be fun to shade, highlight. And you can also play with this texture. Look at the one that um, Stephanie did in her sample. She added a little bit of lightweight um, both sides, kind of here and there, maybe like every other one, or you can just do a few of them. I really like that, so I'm gonna copy what she did. So anytime you see um, um, somebody does something you like you can try copy and to see if you like it um you're not really stealing per se you're just admiring that person's that artist's work but if you're publishing you know on a social media or if you're doing something um for your student or whatever uh I guess there was, uh, sorry, there was one more step according to step out. There's a little bit of texture line here. So here, uh, using somebody's idea, make sure that you give the original artist the proper credit. Um, but you may just happen to have the same idea as somebody else. So um, you can't really uh, say who had the original idea, but you know, if you if 
if you know where you got inspiration from, um, I think it's a, it's a respect, respectful thing to do to give that person the credit. And so I'm shading here first because I already added sparkles and I'm not sure this middle section is going to be brighter. Oops, sorry, I dropped something. So it's gonna naturally invite highlight here. I think this shape is pretty adorable, adorable. Uh, some kind of inspired by some kind of flower. It's really cute. And I'm not really drawing a particular flower per se, so you can uh, make this into any shape you want. I feel like this is cute in this direction too, like upside down. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a stem. Coming from this direction, and I think it will be cute to add uh, leaves and combine with other organic tangle um, for this year's Inktober. The challenge that I gave myself is that I'm gonna do mono tangle, which means I'm not gonna add any other tangle to. Uh, my um, my piece each day so that's why I'm not adding leaves and combining with other tangles but I think it will be really cute to combine with other tangles so please feel free to explore experiment combining with uh, other organic tangles and it have fun if you're working on a bigger piece for this inktober. I think this will be this will blossom really nicely on your piece. I really enjoy drawing this one. It was just super super relaxing, fun and easy to shade and I'm just gonna do a little bit of finishing touch here and there because it was my white it got a little dusty. So I'm just bringing uh, some of the lines that got lost. Perhaps add just a little bit of dots to the balance. Okay, that was easy. Thank you for watching and if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and I will see you tomorrow for day 28 I think. This was day, no 26, day 27 of October. Thank you, bye now.